We have finished our presentation for the Torah portions this season. But there is an addendum that I want to present regarding uh, Rabbi Hillel and Rabbi Shammai and how it affects things with Gamaliel and with Paul. So take your mobile device, take your computer, take your Bible, and uh, join with me one last time. This time let us go over to uh, Acts chapter 22 and look at the first three verses. Uh, this will be reading from the ESV. Brothers and fathers, hear the defense that I now make before you. And when they heard that he, Paul, was addressing them uh, in the Hebrew language, they became even more quiet. And he said, I am a Jew born in Tarsus and uh, Cilicia, but brought up in this city, educated at the feet of Gamaliel, according to the strict manner of the law of our fathers. So let's look at some things real quick in these verses. So we know that it is Paul who is addressing these people. And uh, we can know that because we need to back up into Acts 21. You can see that in verse 40. And in verse 2 of Acts 22, we know that Paul addresses them in the Hebrew language. But Paul also knows Greek, and you can know this because you can go back into Acts 21, verse 37. And uh, many of his writings are left in Greek. So Paul knows both Hebrew and Greek. Go down to verse 3. He says he was born in Cilicia, uh, born in Tarsus in Cilicia. So this is a city in the diaspora. But what's important is that he says he's brought up in the city of Jerusalem. So you can go back to Acts chapter 1 not one I'm sorry Acts chapter 21 and verse 17 and you know that he's in Jerusalem but what we want to talk about is focused right here in verse 3 that Paul says he's educated at the feet of Gamaliel according to the strict manner of the law of our fathers so Paul is admitting that he was uh, was trained up to think very strictly uh, with the scriptures and the way in which you uh, live your life uh, before God so this segment, though, is, like I said at first, is an addendum to the things about Rabbi Shammai and Rabbi uh, Hillel. And way back in segment 13, I spoke about Rabbi Shammai and included some information about the Apostle Paul. In that segment, I said that Paul learned from Gamaliel, and Gamaliel was the grandson of Shammai. Uh, I, however, the other students of Scripture have said that Gamaliel in Acts 22, 3 is the grandson of Hillel the Elder. So, um, I'm not sure why I uh, postulated that back in segment 13, but based upon the evidence that I had studied, that's what I had uh, seen. Now, maybe I confused the two, and that's a possibility, but some students of Scripture are saying this, Gamaliel is from Rabbi Hillel. And this is important. Now, what we want to show, though, is that Rabbi, if I said it wrong again, I am sorry, um, want to point out that this Gamaliel is the grandson of Rabbi Hillel. So hopefully I got that straight. One of the other things I want to bring up, though, is to keep in mind that Rabbi Shammai is actually more strict than Rabbi Hillel. And uh, not all rabbis are actually strict. We know that Jesus is considered a rabbi. You can go over to John chapter 1, verse 38. We know that uh, from that verse that he is called rabbi on several occasions. So it would not seem that all rabbis are strict. However, uh, before Paul became a witness or a testifier to Jesus being the Messiah, he was known as Saul. And as Saul, he learned from the Pharisees. And he, Saul was trained up to think and act like a rabbi. And Saul was trained to interpret the scriptures as a rabbi. And in uh, Acts 26, verse 5, uh, Paul admitted that uh, he was uh, trained in the strictest way. And we saw that here in uh, Acts 22 as well. So when we get into these things and we start seeing the difference between Rabbi Hillel and Rabbi Shammai, it's interesting that Rabbi Shammai is more strict and there are some who think that Paul is actually more in line with 
the school of thinking of Rabbi Shammai than Rabbi Hillel. Either way, um, Rabbi uh, Hillel and Rabbi Shammai are Pharisees, and Paul was trained up to think as a Pharisee. And when you read his testimonies in the scriptures and you're reading his writings, his presentations are from a rabbinic point of view. And if you go back to Acts 15, there were Pharisees who believed that Jesus is the Messiah. So it is possible to be a Pharisee and believe that Jesus is the Messiah. And we have the example of that in the Apostle Paul. So he testifies and he writes a little bit different and he teaches differently than some of the other rabbis would at that time because Paul does finally come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah. But um, Gamaliel trained Saul and it seems to be that Gamaliel, Gamaliel is from the house of Hillel. I just wanted to give one last addendum and I hope that this helps our study.